Welcome to the Flux Supervisor. This is a short video to get you started with the Flux software. You are in the Supervisor environment. This environment is where you can choose a working directory, choose the Flux dimension or application such as 2D, SKU, 3D, or PEEC, create a new Flux project by clicking New Project, and then start a new project. Open an existing project by clicking Open Project, then on the project name, and finally on Open the selected project. Open an example and find all the documentation you need. This part will be explained later in the video. You can also define the options, open the Material Manager where you can store all your materials or check the Flux Materials Library, Define the units, or define the HPC settings. If it is your first time, you might want to see an example or do a tutorial to learn how to use the software efficiently before going to your specific application. To open an example, click Open an example and choose the dimensions 2D, SKU, 3D, or PEEC. For your first time, you might want to choose the basic examples. For example, a brushless IPM motor example in 2D. You can find the step-by-step -step videos in the Flux Starting Guide interface. For each example, you have different things. A PDF file, which gives all the steps to build the example. A summary document inside the supervisor window. You can also launch the example at different steps in Flux to open the project, such as after the geometry and mesh step, after the physics definition step, or even the fully solved and post-processed project to view the results. By clicking open the selected example it will run the command. Once you've reviewed the basic tutorials you can have a look at the technical manuals. The basic tutorials go further into the design in different applications such as rotating machines, induction heating, and actuators. In 3D, you have different kinds of motors, power transformers, and other things. You also have access to Python scripts to edit your Python command files in this environment. You have a batch solving context dedicated to automatically solve a list of prepared projects. In the options, you can set up many things in the application such as the language, which can be English or French, the memory settings, which define the memory amount used for each flux window. In 2D, use default values for most cases and increase the memory with the slider if required. In 3D, the default values work well for simple cases. For most advanced cases, with a large mesh density, such as power transformers, you will need to increase the memory, especially the numerical memory, which is used for solving and meshing and the graphical memory, which is used for displays during post-processing. For most projects, you can start from default values and use the slider to increase the memory. You also have access to the online documentation, which can be used to understand any functionality or entity in Flux, the user guide, which contains more details about different aspects of the software, the user portal, which is Altair Connect, where you can find the latest macros and updates on all the frequently asked questions that can help you using the software. And finally, the Flux Starting Guide interface, where you can find interesting videos to begin in Flux. We hope you'll find the support you need to get you started in a Flux environment.